Future at Max with a tutorial on how to import your uh, PMX MMD models or PMD models into uh, 3D Studio Max or Maya. Um, this is one of the ways out there to do it. Um, I'll try to do more tutorials on the other uh, ways to do it in the future. But this is using uh, Mario Kart 64N's uh, script, uh, 3D Studio Max script. Um, so um, I kind of walk you through the process as quickly as I can on how this works. So the first thing you'll need to do is uh, the script only works with PMD files. So if you have a PMD file, great. Uh, if you have a PMX file, you need to do a little bit to kind of convert it. So I'll use Nanoko as an example. Um, she's a PMX file. Uh, now the, the thing to remember is a PMD file, one of its limitations is the total number of vertices that make up the model data has to be under 64,000 vertices. Otherwise, the model just basically explodes. Like you open up the model and it doesn't look right. So to get it under the 64,000 vertex limit, if the PMX model can't be saved as a PMD file. So try saving as a PMD file first and seeing if it opens and looks correct. So you do that by opening the PMD file like I just said. I just went to O. It's under under file here. Um, and then once I have it open, I just go down to X for export. And then it's automatically uh, PMX, PMD, and X format. All I have to do is manually type in PMD and hit save. Just like that. Um, now if I open it up and it's just crazy like it doesn't look right, then you have to come back in, open the PMX file, and start deleting some vertices to get it under that limit. And uh, how you do that is uh, you go to this guy right here, if you can see my mouse is, it'll open up a window with uh, all the um, subsets that make up the model. And then you find things that you don't really care about, like the wings, for example. Go down to wings, uncheck them, and then hit the uh, second button over to the right and that will invert the selection. Now because when PMX open, uh, opens by default in select vertex mode I don't have to actually check anything here to change the selection type. So I just mouse drag and it'll select the uh, vertices of anything that's on my screen. In this case we've uh, kind of like um, singled out the wings right here. Uh, then I go up to edit and go down to uh, V so vertices and then go all the way down to delete vertices, model vertices. So uh, uh, select that, get the prompt, hit yes, and now they're gone. And you'll notice that they're gone in the list too. And you just get the model back by uh, hitting the button to the left of the one we just had selected and that uh, turns on the entire model again. Um, so it's kind of like a process of trial and error. Um, at this point, I would then go and uh, export out the model again, and choose or, or actually type in PMD, and uh, and the whole process just you know until it's finally working. So once you have the PMD file, you um, actually we shouldn't know it's open through some access. Should download <laughs> download the script. Uh, I'll put the uh, download info in the uh, in the uh, YouTube YouTube info below the uh, video here, and um, you can then go and download it. So once you've unzipped the file, uh, you'll get a README, and you'll get the script itself. So uh, you're going to want to uh, drop the uh, script file into the uh, script folder for 3D Studio Max. Uh, you do that just by going to Computer, C. Program Files, Autodesk, 3D Studio Max, uh, whatever version you have, and uh, Scripts. And you can see I have two versions already dropped in there. This is the old one, and this is the new one. So I just drop the new one in there. We replace. Sure, continue. So we just dropped it in there. I'm going to actually copy it and bring it back here. <laughs> so, um,. So that's, that's how you do it. Now, uh, the uh, success rate of this script working in different third versions of 3D Studio Max is kind of like uh, hit or miss. Uh, I have 2010, it works fine for me here. I hear on forums, it works okay for some people with 2014. It really just depends, I guess. So it's it's just, it's a shot. It's, you know, if you have the, if you have uh, 3D Studio Max. 
Um, to get the uh, script to work, you just go up to Max Scripts after you've opened 3D Studio Max. Uh, hit Run Script. Choose your uh, your uh, uh, MMD importer script. Hit Open, and it's going to bring up this tool. Now, the CISA script is about 70 percent completed. Um, things work, and some things don't work. Um, if you're just going to use the import your model and import with just the bones with the weighting, it works pretty well actually. Um, if you're going to like do other things, um, like expect morphs to work, uh, you may not be able to get to work. Uh, you can fiddle with it and see if you have any luck, but I can tell you on most models I've tried, I haven't got to work. So, um, so I just select uh, model morphs for the heck of it. Uh, Bones definitely weights IK and turn off collision and physics because I don't care about that. Um, and I go to import. I hit the top button. Find my PMD file. I made a send me one earlier. And hit open. And you can see it kind of do its thing down here. It, it takes a little bit. Um, it has to convert a lot of stuff into something 3D Studio Max would uh, understand. So, uh, so just give it a give it a few seconds to a minute. Uh, now, last time I recorded this tutorial, it actually crashed 3D Studio Max, so I decided to re-record the tutorial. But looks like it's going to cooperate this time. So you can see Senmei comes in, and she's got a whole bunch of bones like growing out of her face. Uh, it looks kind of weird. But um, you can kind of go and mess with stuff. Um, at this point, you need to know how to use 3D Studio Max to kind of operate this stuff. This is just for like people that just, you know, you can mess with it and maybe teach yourself and use tutorials on how to operate 3D Studio Max, but that's not what this tutorial is about. So, um, but if I go to Bones, um, you can actually, since I had IK actually checked, um, you can actually get a little bit of um, if I can select it there it goes you can actually get a little bit of a result with IK it actually does import IK to a degree um, so and uh, like her hair kinda works like how it did in, um, in MMD basically has the IK at the end uh, which is which is really cool um, See another like quick can I show you real quick. Uh, all the bones do come in, um, but um, they're not necessarily all going to work if it's complicated. Uh, like the arm twist bones, I don't believe work, uh, but for the most part, they mostly work. So you can see there is morphing going on. Um, there is weights uh, actually assigned to the uh, to the bone still. So pretty cool stuff. Um, now it's uh, the the face um, isn't really rendering properly um, in the viewport, uh, mostly because of um, the way the shaders are set up. So um, the way it imports it, it imports uh, all the textures in based on um, sub objects. So you may, if you know your 3D Studio Max user, go through and make your shader balls and assign it to the correct parts of the clothing if you want to use this this model in 3D Studio Max, um, and that way it'll display properly and stuff. But um, but as you can see, she renders pretty much correctly except for the eyelashes. But that's that's pretty easy to fix. Um, so um, so now. Um, Let's say you want to take this and import it into Maya. Um, it's it's not all that hard, but uh, this will pretty much break the IK because the IK systems are different, um, and uh, you may not get uh, vertex normals to come through correctly either. Um, so uh, so anyways, you um, select all the stuff on your model, all that wonderful stuff. And then you export this as an FBX. Um, 
FBX is a universal file type that uh, contains uh, bone data and animation data and and so on. It's pretty much the only way to make 3 d Max and Maya communicate on a rig level. So, um, so you export that. Uh, you can pretty much leave it default usually. So hit OK. And it's going to kind of chug for a minute and think. It may throw out a warning to you. This one's just uh, complaining about uh, shader shader information, which we don't really care about, to be honest. Um, and it crashed. Okay. So uh, 3D, 3D Studio Max actually crashed on us when we exported, and that's kind of why I don't really use 3D Studio Max. Uh, it's just I, I just don't like the fact it's so unstable. So, um, so now that you have your um, uh, your uh, FBX file uh, that you exported from uh, uh, 3D Studio Max using that PMD importer. Uh, you're just going to simply import it. Uh, now, uh, it actually crashes Maya when I import this, if it's, uh, I think, uh, my 2012 version. Uh, but in 2014, it uh, seems to deal with it just fine. Um, so, um, so that's what I'm using t for this tutorial to actually import the model and show you what it looks like. Um, it takes a little bit of time, like through Studio Max, just to kind of digest all that data inside the file. Okay. All right. So you'll notice right away uh, it comes in really blocky, and that is because 3D Studio Max um, uses a different type of uh, vertex normal smoothing, um, uh, like engine, I guess, basically. Uh, Whereas Maya is a little bit different. So you may have to go and fix your vertex normal normals. That's just one of the drawbacks of using this pipeline to get your model into Maya, if that's what you want to use it in. Um, the other drawback is the IK. The IK will most likely no longer work. If I select the model, it doesn't work. It's just, um, it still has the weighting, which is great. So if I do this, works great. But um, oops. But as far as the um, IK goes, it is kaput. Oops. But we do have a rigged model still, which is which is pretty nice. Let's get out of X-ray. And turn on. So the other the other small uh, issue is uh, because of the nature of how PMX works. Um, this demonstrates this is the hypershade in Sayamaya, and this shows you all the shaders assigned to this model right now, and basically. Um, when PMX uh, imports the file, or when you have to make a model, <clears throat> it assigns a new shader, even though it's the same texture, to every single part. So that's every single part. So you may have to actually go through like 3 d Max and actually um, select parts of the model and um, and actually assign it back to the uh, the correct um, texture. Which uh, which may be a pain, so that's kind of one of the uh, the drawbacks to using this method. But it does get you the character in here, and it does stay somewhat rigged. So I would say um, it'd be hard to use this character as it is. It would be a lot of work to actually um, get it working. Um, I mean, get it looking nice and usable. But I would say that this is a good method to get your model in if you want to um, look at someone else's model uh, for reference when you're making your own. Um, it's not a bad way to go about it. 
Um, but uh, there are other methods to get things into Maya uh, which have a little bit better results um, that I can do tutorials on later. But I just wanted to kind of go over uh, the um, Mario Kart uh, 64N uh, script, uh, which uh, I would say does a, does a pretty nice job for um, 3D Studio Max. But um, but uh, in terms of Maya, it's uh, something to be desired. So uh, if you have any comments or you have uh, uh, questions or things you want to add, things I may have missed maybe, um, add them in the comments. I'll put the download uh, to the uh, Mario Kart uh, 64N um, Max script in the uh, information below the video, um, as well as where to get PMX Editor. Um, off my uh, frequently asked questions uh, main page, it'll it pretty much be a link to my DeviantArt page, um, and um, I think that's that's about it. Um, so uh, so yeah, I, I hope this uh, this helps you in some way. I hope this at least gets your models into Maya, so you can actually look at what other people are doing to kind of learn for yourself and understand how to make uh, better characters for learning learning purposes, basically. So, um, so thanks for watching. Behind it, if that makes sense. So now we can take it and drag it right onto the. Uh,